Anyone who has a pet knows how terrible it can be if they go missing. This missing dog returned home and collapsed on the door. Then, his family saw a shocking note on his collar. It wasn't the first time that Louis, the sheepdog, had gone on walks on his own. They lived on a farm and Louis had a lot of energy as a pup, but as he got older he couldn't go out on his own as often. As a 12-year-old dog, he didn't wander off very far or for very long. He didn't have the energy and preferred to just lie down in the sun. But one day he went out on his morning potty run and he didn't come back. After a few hours, his family started to get worried. What if the dog couldn't find his way home? What if the elderly dog was too weak to get back? They had to go out and search for him. They looked everywhere that they could think of. They spread out to start searching. The farm had a lot of spots that he could be hiding in, and they just hoped that they could see him. They checked underneath vehicles and inside the building, but there were no signs of the dog. He never went off their property, but it looked like this was the first time. He was gone and they were terrified. How would they get their old boy back? They went back home and they called vets in the area. No one had seen Louis. They started phoning neighboring farms when suddenly they heard a sound on the other side of the door. Louis had returned home. The missing dog had come home and collapsed at the door right away. Louis was exhausted. Where had the old boy been all day? He didn't look good. And then his family saw a shocking note on his collar. It was from a neighbor and it said, Louis is the hero of the day. He led me to Maddie in distress. Cheers, Rob. Rob lived on a farm a short distance away. His dog, Maddie, was best friends with Louis, and they played together since she was a young pup. Even now that Louis was older, she was still the one dog that could inspire him to play. But Maddie and Rob's farm was much farther away than Louis normally walked. The family had to find out what happened. They phoned Rob to find out, and he had an incredible story to tell them. Rob had to go out in the morning and run some errands. He had a doctor's appointment and he couldn't move it. Normally, Rob preferred to lock Maddie up in a fenced-in yard instead of allowing her to run free on the entire farm. That way she could go in the house and be outside if she wanted, but she would also be safe. But this particular morning, he couldn't find her before he had to leave. He called and called, but she didn't come back. It could have been that she was out in the fields and just didn't hear him, but he didn't like to leave her like that. However, he didn't have much of a choice. He had to go to be on time for his appointment. He took comfort in knowing that she knew her way around the farm and she would be fine. He just hoped that she would be home by the time he came back. That didn't mean he didn't worry the entire time that she was out. His doctor's appointment went well and they didn't find anything worrisome. That was great, but his mind wasn't on that. He went to a few places, paid bills, then bought what he needed to, and got home later that morning. But still, Maddie was nowhere in sight. It had been hours and he started to panic, so he was very shocked when he got to his front door and a dog was there waiting for him. The only problem was that it wasn't his dog. Instead, it was Louie who stood there. He was so shocked by the dog's appearance that he didn't even think about phoning his family to let them know that the dog was there, and what the pup did next was going to shock him even more. Louis looked over at him, and then he started walking away into the woods. But when Rob didn't follow him, he came back right away. The old sheepdog grabbed Rob's jacket and he pulled at him. Finally, Rob got the message. The dog wanted Rob to follow him into the woods, so he followed the dog. They had walked for a while when Louis sat down and looked up at Rob. At first, he didn't understand what Louis was trying to show him. There were a few piles of wood next to the dog, but the man couldn't see anything strange. The dog sat next to one of the piles and wouldn't move when Rob called him. Rob wanted to go home and get Louis's family, but then he heard moaning coming from underneath the woodpile. He had to lie down next to the pile, and then he had to peek inside through a tiny hole. It was Maddie. She had somehow crawled underneath the woodpile, and now she was stuck there. She looked so sad, Rob couldn't help but wonder how long the poor pup had been stuck. Even more surprising was that Louis had seemed to know that his friend was in trouble, even from miles away, and he had come to make sure that she got the help she needed. They had to be careful digging her out. They didn't want the pile to come crashing down on Maddie while they were trying to rescue her. Rob had no one that could help him dig. The workers on his farm had all gone home for the day. 
But that didn't mean that he was alone. As soon as Rob started to dig, the old dog started digging right along with him. Louis wasn't planning on getting this far and then abandoning his friend. The dog dug like he was a young boy. He grabbed a piece of wood at a time and pulled it away from the pile. It took a lot of energy. At 12, this was the most exertion that the dog had had in a while, but he was digging as quickly as he could. Old or not, he knew his way around digging holes. Rob and the dog worked as fast as they could. Poor Maddie was panting and seemed very stressed. She kept trying to get out and when she couldn't, she would start to freak out even more. They had to get her out quickly. Or she could injure herself trying to get out or even pull the entire thing down on her. They were not going to let that happen. It took a while, but finally, they had a corner dug out that was big enough for Maddie to crawl out of. She got out as fast as she could. Then she went to lie down next to Rob, and Louie came over and licked her. Both of the dogs were super tired. They were also overheated. Louie because he had been working hard and Maddie because she was so stressed out. They jumped into a nearby pond. There they cooled down and drank big gulps of water. But it was clear that the adrenaline was beginning to wear off. Both dogs were dragging their feet and they could hardly walk. Rob couldn't carry both of them and he had to get them home. They walked with him, but as soon as they got home, Maddie went to lie in her dog bed. Louie walked to the car and waited. He wanted to go home. Rob didn't want to leave Maddie alone too long, but he couldn't let Louie walk on the way back to his house. That was why he tied the note to Louie's collar and dropped him at home. As soon as Louie reached the door, Rob rushed home. Maddie was sleeping peacefully, and with the resilience of a young pup, she would soon feel a lot better. But the same could not be said for Louis. He was really tired and weak, and his family had to help him from the door to his bed. He didn't even want to eat. They watched him all night. Was the exciting day too much for the old dog? Was he going to make the ultimate sacrifice because he wanted to help his friend? They couldn't imagine it ending like that. When he was alive by morning, they were incredibly relieved. But he still didn't look good. They picked him up to take him outside and then had to bring him back inside after he was finished. They were planning on taking him to a vet, but first, someone wanted to come and say thanks. Rob and Maddie brought a box of treats to thank Louie. As soon as he saw his friend, he jumped up and looked much better. He was a lot more relaxed and happy. They still took him to the vet, but they found that he was remarkably healthy for an old dog. The dog taught everyone what real sacrifice was. But this time, things turned out well, and they could keep the sweet dog with them for a while longer. Thanks for watching. Join us again for more incredible stories.